Okay, so we're going to take our data and we're going to create a graph. Um, this particular graph is going to be using the kilometers per hour and then we're going to extend it to the two hours. So uh, let's start with the basics of a graph. Every graph needs a title. Um, you can decide uh, what your graph's title can be, but before you do that, put your heading in the top right corner, put your partner's name that you worked with when you were collecting data, and then uh, the title, you could put, um, are you faster than a chicken? Uh, you could put, I am faster, you could put um, your class name, you could put uh, X and the Y. Uh, it's kind of up to you. But uh, you have two axes, so this is the X, which if time is one of your variables, uh, time is always on the X axis. <clears throat> and you need to put what unit of time. And so in this instance, we're going to be using time in hours and we've marked it off as one hour and two hours. And then any of these would be less than an hour. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So <clears throat> each one of those marks would be six minutes if you had data that you could uh, plot across there. And then our Y axis is going to be what? What else are we? Uh, using. We've got time and then we've also got kilometers. And so this is distance in kilometers. Okay, so these are our two uh, things, our two pieces of information. We have our key and each line is going to be represented, uh, each piece of data is going to be a different color. If you didn't have color, you could use like um, a dotted line, uh, a line with X's on it or whatever. We do have colors. Each uh, table is going to have these colors. Um, they're new, so you're going to have to take the little uh, plasticky things off of them before you use them. Uh, so we're going to use black to represent the sloth, and you may just want to, you know, give a little color there. And we're going to use red, not pink, to represent the chicken. And if you struggle with color or you have color blindness, um, ask someone to help you out with the colors. Um, we have purple, Miss Miner's favorite color. Uh, to represent Miss Minor. And then we're going to use green, which in this case is a lime green. And if you aren't at school when you're doing this, just be sure you create your key so we'll know what color you're using. Since the darker blue and the purple are kind of hard to tell apart, we're going to use this lighter um, teal blue to represent the partner. And so you'll put your name here and you'll put your partner's name here. Um, so those are that's the key. Now, when we look at a graph, we always want to use the majority of the graph. Now notice we used half of it for one hour and then the other half for two hours. Now what about the distance? Um, we know the uh, data for the chicken is 14. We know the data for the sloth is 0.25. Um, we know um, Miss Miner's corrected data uh, because she made an error earlier on her decimal um, and she didn't check her math, so shame on her, uh, is 10.49 kilometers. And then depending on what uh, you and your partner are, it's probably somewhere in there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 lines. Um, so it's probably okay to say we would be using the majority of the graph if we just used a one-to-one -one ratio. So every line would represent one um, kilometer. And so we're just going to label them 
the side. You will need a ruler. There's use, there's one in each box, so you can use that. So now um, we're going to start with um, Miss Miners. Okay, so we're going to get the purple, and my data was 10.49 kilometers in one hour. So I know I'm going to be at the one hour mark. I need to find where 10.49 is. So here's 10, here's 11. So approximately halfway between there. So I'm going to use uh, a ruler to show me about where halfway is. And then I'm going to be on the one hour line. So I'm going to make my data point right here. Okay. Now, it, when I was not moving, uh, I had gone zero distance, and it had taken me zero time. And so if I line up that with my data point, and I draw a line using that color, okay, that line represents Miss Miner's speed. Um, it is a straight line. Um, if I wanted to find out how far Miss Miner could go in two hours, um, I could go twice as far, right? So two times 10.49. Uh, assuming that I would be traveling at a constant speed, um, that would be off of this graph, right? So it would be more than this graph would be able to show. Um, but if this line were to continue, right, in a straight line, it would just continue to go way up there, right? And so that would be approximately somewhere up here, you know, eventually this might be way up there um, at two hour mark. Okay. Now the sloth at our sloth 0.25 kilometers at the one hour mark. So let's find um, one hour using the black pen. 0.25. Well, here's one hour. Half would be halfway. 0.25 is like, oh, there's four quarters, and then a 0.25 would be one quarter. So I'm going to have to try to divide this in not just half, but half of a half. So I'm going to be about right there, and I'm at the one hour. So here is about where the sloth would be. And then, of course, from the origin, I'm going to be drawing my line. And so here's, now, if the sloth can go 0 .5, uh, 0 0.25, then how far it's in two hours? So from here to here, right, we should be able to, should continue that line. There. So there's our sloth's data. Um, and then I want you to try to do the chicken, and then I'll do the chicken. So pause your video, do the chicken. And so the chicken's data 14 kilometers in one hour. So we find our one hour. Here's 14. And so we put our data point here. Through the origin. And if we were to continue going, it would go off of the chart here because 28 is definitely more than the 17 that we have, right? Um, but you can tell that if the line is higher, then I'm not faster, right? So here's Miss Miner's line, here's the chicken's line. But I am faster, faster than the sloth. Yay, Miss Miner, right? Now you're going to have to graph you and your partners.
right, so on the meters per second, we've added the title. We've added the X, which is time in seconds. We added one second and two seconds. For our Y axis, it's distance in meters. And on this one, we're going to uh, use, this would be half, and this would be one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six, half, seven, half, eight, and a half. Um, and then your key is the same, black for the sloth, red for the chicken, purple for Miss Minor, green, and then blue, you write your name and your partner's name. Miss Minor's um, mean time uh, for meters per second was 2.9 meters per second. So we're going to start with the purple. So one second, and we're going to find 2.91. So this would be 2.5, this is 3, so it's going to be pretty close to the 3. Um, so here's going to be yeah, about right there. And then we're going to line that up with the origin. And then if I could go 2.91 meter in a second, double that, uh, and we would have twice that much. And so I'm going to check my math before I try. So that means at two seconds, Miss Minor could go 5.82 meters. So here's two, and then here's five, and there's six, so it's over half. Um, so I'm going to be somewhere in this area. And I'm going to see where my line plays out. That's pretty close. Um, about right there. And so that would be Miss Minor's line. And then you're going to find um, the speed of the chicken, 3.89 meters per second. Uh, and you're going to graph that one. You're going to find the sloth, 0 0.07 meters per second. Now that one's going to be kind of hard to find, but uh, let's, let's do the sloth. So this is 0 0.5. This would be 0 0.25. Right? This would be like 0 0.1. So I mean, this is a really small amount here. Um, so we're going to be like way down here. And then double that would still just be like 0.14 meters per second at two seconds. Um, so we're still not very far. We're not even to the halfway. And using the black ink, line those up. It's, all, it's hard to tell because it's like almost not the width of the ink uh, of the pen. So it's kind of hard. There's the sloth, just barely moving. Uh, I'm going to let you do the chicken, and then you're green and you're blue.